Hi, I'm Drew Stanton, former Farmington Hills Harrison Hawk and Michigan State Spartan, and you're watching State Champs. Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Michigan Student Aid, Michigan's go-to resource for student financial aid. Planning for your future, because your future begins now. Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. And Snef Camp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Come visit Telegraph Road's newest Dodge and Ram truck dealer serving Detroit. I want to welcome you to October. Lots will happen over the course of the next several weeks. Golf and tennis will officially wrap. Playoffs will be on full display in all the other fall sports. And then of course, we end the scariest month of the year with our annual Halloween show. What will we do this year? Where will we be? <laughs> Time will tell, but lots to get to until then. Thanks for being here. This is State Champs presented by Lawrence Technological University. My name is Lauren Plant. And I'm Pierre Hay. We really do take a lot of pride in trying to get a variety of schools on the show throughout each season. And this week we go to the left coast for an OK Girls Golf Tournament. And Boys Water Polo will take an appearance this week. We've got a cross-country jamboree from the Alpena area. And what else? High school football and lots of it. Our main event was a fight for city bragging rights between two undefeated squads. We had a Catholic League power going to the Flint area to face one of the strongest teams in the state. And we'll find out if the surprise of the Lakes Valley Conference continues to roar. We've got all that and more in store, so let's get this show on the road right now. I'm Sean Belegian, and we start with the battle for the Bell Trophy as St. Clair took on rival Marine City. We pick things up in the first quarter, St. Clair in blue driving. Junior Brady Gleason goes on in for the 15-yard keeper as the Saints take a 7-0 lead after the opening quarter of play. St. Clair would add more to its lead in the second. Check out the junior. Brandon Ruba gets the hand up and he would go untouched, 68 yards to the house. Just like that, the Saints are now up 14. But back comes Marine City on the following kickoff. The senior captain, Jack Kretschmer, would outrun everybody and take it on in for the 95-yard score. The Mariners are down 21-7 as we head into the half. It would be all St. Clair in the second half. Ethan Mann would punch it on in from a yard out as St. Clair claims the Bell Trophy for the first time in five years, beating Marine City 35-21 the final. And we go to the west side of the state for a Ottawa-Kent Black Division matchup as Muskegon Mona Shores took on Jenison. We jump all the way to a wild and crazy fourth quarter. Mona Shores driving, Caden Brosma hooks up with James Gilbert for the 23-yard touchdown. Sailors lead 35 to 20. Jenison, they would not quit. Kyle Knock would hook up with a wide open Brock Van Manen for the 23-yard score. Wildcats now down 42-34. They would get the ball again, and Ray Russo scores from four yards out. Jenison gets the two-point conversion, and we're all tied up at 42. Now, 28 seconds to go in this one. Sailors going for the go-ahead score, and it's Brosma once again, this time with his leg for the score as Muskegon Mona Shores hangs on to win 49-42, and they go to 7-0 on the season. I'm Kiara Hay, and we stay on the west side of the state for the OK White Girls Golf Conference meet at the Quail Ridge Golf Club. We go to the 12th hole. Zoe Anderson from Belding had this five-footer to save par, and she knocks it in. The Black Knights would finish the tournament in third. Forest Hill Central is ranked sixth in Division II, and on the 12th, Kaylee Reynolds gets this four-footer to go in for par. The Rangers finish runner-up. This day would belong to Forest Hill Northern, the top-ranked team in Division II. Kay Zubkiss gets the uphill putt to go in for birdie as the Huskies go on to win the OK White Conference title. Lauren here, we go to boys soccer. Mayak Conference matchup. Southfield Christian bringing in the Hawks of Huron Valley Lutheran. 
Southfield Christian in blue on the board first. The junior, Chris Davenport with the theft. Then back of the net. Sixth goal of the season. Eagles up 1-0 into halftime. Girls soccer not offered at Huron Valley Lutheran, so these Hawks are a co-ed squad. Early in the second, a great throw finds the junior Zach Ott. First shot off the iron. The follow-up trickles in. That's all that matters. Game tied at one. But minutes later, Southfield Christian answers. Penalty kick. Senior Jack Ross with the honors and the deposit. Southfield Christian beats Huron Valley Lutheran 3-1. Today we're going to introduce you to the MHSAA's Coaches Advancement Program. 30 years ago, the MHSAA began its first coaches education program to address the large influx of non-faculty coaches directing educational athletic teams. Today, the Coaches Advancement Program, or CAP, has grown into one of the nation's top and first face-to-face -face educational program geared to assist coaches in their growth and development. CAP gives coaches everything except the X's and O's of their sport, dealing with the practical and philosophical issues of coaching high school sports. Over 3,000 individuals annually attend CAP training sessions, most receiving beginning and intermediate certifications studying numerous topics. But a growing number stay in the program to earn advanced certification and study not just the basics, but current issues affecting educational athletics. If you want to learn more about the Coaches Advancement Program, visit the MHSAA website. StateChampsNetwork.com is the heartbeat of everything happening at State Champs. Our completely redesigned website is packed with high school sports features, videos, podcasts, rankings, recruiting news, contests, and so much more. Did you know that State Champs Sports Network has expanded to Indiana? We've got exclusive videos and stories from both the Wolverine and the Hoosier State. At the top of the page, you can view all the content or separate it out by state. Our IT team worked hard to bring you a crisp, clean, user-friendly online experience. So take a minute and see everything that's happening at statechampsnetwork.com right now. I want to be a dermatologist, and though a lot of universities tried to recruit me for basketball, Lawrence Tech had the science curriculum that I wanted. LTU Southfield Campus is a great place to learn, and the classes are small enough that I don't have to wait for office hours to talk to my professors. They're usually right by my side, challenging me and guiding me toward a successful future. Lawrence Tech. Possible is everything. You've worked hard to raise your family and build a happy life for them. Don't let unforeseen circumstances jeopardize everything you've built. Planning for your future is a law firm that makes it easy and affordable to protect your family with estate planning, wills, trust, deeds, power of attorney, minor, and elder care. The experts at Planning for Your Future will meet with you, prepare your documents, and make sure you understand what each does. So contact Planning for Your Future today to set up your free phone consultation, because your future begins now. I ordered two large Howie Mowies with butter cheese crust. Wow, you are one serious breast cancer awareness supporter. Warrior for love, hope, and pizza. Can't seem to reach my wallet. Flavor fanatics love us because for every pizza sold in October, a portion goes to the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Now get a medium one-topping pizza for a dollar when you buy a large one-topping pizza at regular menu price. Hungry? Howie! Hello, I'm Omar Adder. And I'm Alexa Ali. And we're your king and queen for the Crestwood High School class of 2019. Now let's get back to the highlights on state champs. I'm Ryan Slocum from the mid-Michigan area. We'll begin with unbeaten Davison taking on the defending D2 state champs from Warren De La Salle. Tied at seven in the second, Nolan Schultz rolls out. He hits Joshua DeBerry right at the goal line. He had over 120 yards and two TDs before the break. Final minute of the half, Schultz keeps it himself this time, 12 yards. The Pilots go into the locker room with a 21-7 lead. The Cards got the ball first to start the third, but they fumble the exchange. Joshua Warminski scoops it up, and De La Salle is back in business. Schultz looking for help on third and long, but he doesn't need any. He takes it himself to the crib, and De La Salle hands Davison its first loss of the season, 35-7. 
Frankenmuth and Millington once again battling for the Tri-Valley East title. The Eagles have beaten the Cardinals three years in a row. Muth up 7-6 at the break, and they get busy in the third. Connor Campbell guns it over the middle to Nate Stone for the touch, and a 14-6 lead. Muth was up 21-6 in the fourth. This time, it's Nick Hartman slipping numerous tackles. He takes it all the way for another score, and Frankenmuth wins the TVC East again. They qualify for the postseason with win number six, 35-12. Lauren, back here we go to volleyball. Bird's eye view of an MHSA student broadcast KLAA matchup. Howell playing host to Heartland. Both teams in the middle of the pack in the West Division. This was a good first game, and it was Heartland that rallied. It takes a certain kind of touch to find the back corner. Vita Sprater to Sophia Gagne, the sophomore with pinpoint accuracy. Eagles take game one 25-21. Game two, more of the same. This was a very evenly matched match. Back and forth they went until Howells, Riley O'Connell had seen enough. The junior goes sideline with success. Hartland had the upper hand because they made the big plays. O'Connell going to blast, but Eagles senior Gabby Skinner like a boomerang to get the Eagles a two games to none lead. All Eagles in the third. Sprayer once again distributing a dandy to her senior outside hitter, Megan Ace. Lay it down. Hartland sweeps Howell in three games. We take our first look at water polo this season. Ann Arbor here on taking the trip to Birmingham to go at it against Groves. We start in the second quarter. Sean Underwood flips it back to Dane Hubers. He fires it home, game tied at four. Sixth rank Groves off to a 12 and two record. Falcons poured in two goals to end the half. The senior Ali Abdallah waits before he strikes. Six four at the break. The Falcons would not relent. Senior co-captain Sam Gugajan fights off the defender and goes to goal. Birmingham grows to feet Ann Arbor Huron 11 to eight. All right, welcome back inside the studio. Time for another update in our Hungry Howie's Mr. Football Race. Sean Belizean is here as always. We do not have another change into our top 10 this week. There are some big games coming up for some of our opponents in the next few weeks, so we could see some movement then. In the meantime, I want to talk about and kind of update what a couple of guys are doing who are in our top 10. Actually, two teams that met being Muskegon and Farmington Hills Harrison in the Division III Football State Championship. Cameron Martinez was not yet a part of the Big Reds. He is now, and Roderick Hurd, the running back for Farmington Hills Harrison. Cameron Martinez, I mean, he just keeps getting it done. The junior quarterback has led the Big Reds to a 6-0 record, averaging almost 49 points a game. Meanwhile, you talked about him, Roderick Hurt. He was a one-man wrecking ball against Rochester. As Harrison improved to 5-1 with a 27-24 victory. Get these numbers. 37 carries, 286 yards, and three scores. Two of the guys to keep an eye on, and two guys that certainly we are keeping an eye on. What you can do to help keep at least one guy in to the end is vote in our contest right now. StateChampsNetwork.com. Click on the Hungry Howie's Mr. Football banner. Right now we want to congratulate Sam Johnson, who still holds a lead. Jaron Mangum is in second. And in third, not too far uh, behind those guys, is Deron McKinney, the fine athlete out of River Rouge. So go to the website, vote, do it now. If you like everything State Champs had to bring you in 2018, just wait and see what we have planned for 2019. For 15 years, State Champs has been your home for high school sports, but that only scratches the surface of what we do as a part of Yellow Flag Productions. The nation's only weekly TV show during the first robotic season, State Champs RoboZone will be back for its fifth year. And for the second year, we'll feature coverage of the world championships from right here in Detroit. State Champs Esports will be back for a third year, and we're doubling the size of our League of Legends Virtual League, and the tournament to crown a champion next year will knock your socks off. The best time for companies to partner with us is right now. Align your business with an organization dedicated to 12 months of original, family-friendly, competitive, and flat-out fun programming. Statewide television shows, podcasts, digital, and social media, we are blowing up. We immerse ourselves in the high school experience and take the plunge and partner with Yellow Flag Productions and State Champs. Contact our sales director, Mark Rottenberg, at the email below or just go to our contact page at statechampsnetwork.com. We've got more highlights and this week's recruit report next on State Champs. The ones who wake up every morning ready to take on the world. 
the ones who push their limits to be better than the rest. You are looking to join a team of leaders who want to be challenged. You want to be pushed to your limits. You value freedom and think you have what it takes. The ones with speed, strength, intellect, and determination. Michigan Army National Guard. We see you. Are you stuck in your job? Getting frustrated playing the waiting game for the next opportunity to advance your career? Let Blue Chip Talent help. As an award-winning talent acquisition company, our specialty is matching candidates with careers in IT and engineering. At Blue Chip Talent, we take a laser-focused approach to reaching your career goals. We have access to jobs you won't find anywhere else to help advance your career faster and easier. Plus, we take care of you. Employees receive industry-leading benefits and competitive perks. Don't waste another minute worrying because we are ridiculously good at advancing careers. The importance of higher education in my family was the main goal for us. Our goal was to graduate from college debt free and thanks to the programs at My Student Aid we were able to do that. I didn't know how much we were supposed to be saving for college. Nobody was putting that money aside for me from birth or kindergarten on. Sometimes we'll see students two, three, sometimes even four years out of high school that call in and we can happily say yes you're still eligible for this program. It's tough to improve on an original, and Snethcamp is Metro Detroit's original Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram dealer. Lease the all-new 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 for only $79 a month for 24 months, or a new Jeep Compass Limited 4x4 at just $59 a month during Ram Power Days and Jeep Adventure Days at Snethcamp on Telegraph in Redford. Snethcamp, Metro Detroit's original. Snethcamp, Snethcamp. Sean Belegian back here and we go to the Lakes Valley Conference as Waterford Mott was at home to take on the undefeated South Lion Lions. South Lion junior Connor Fercassi sneaks it in from a yard out. The Lions lead 7-0 after the opening quarter. Jump to the early portion of the fourth quarter now. Gage Dupree gets the handoff and punches it in from four yards out. And we are tied up at 14. South Lion would answer four minutes later. Junior Mitchell Camoris goes up the gut, five yard score. And South Lion goes to 7 0 for the first time in 12 years, knocking off Waterford Mott 21 14. Listen up, I'm going to tell y'all right now, they don't score, they don't win. Let's go. So defense set the tone, right? Let's go. Defense set the tone, right? Let's go. Let's go. So we lay hang our hat on. Defense and discipline. Be disciplined. LP back with you for a Michigan Independent Athletic Conference clash. Detroit Public Safety trying to secure a spot in the postseason for the first time in their brief history, invading homecoming at Westland Lutheran. The Warriors 3-3 three three on the year, riding a two-game winning streak. 45 seconds ago in the first quarter, junior Grant Ingersoll under center. He will keep it for the game's first score. Conversion was good, 8-0 Westland Lutheran. The Eagles fell to Bishop Foley in week one, five straight wins since early second quarter, and DPS scored two quick TDs following onside kick recoveries. Sophomore QB Shundeen Bridges tossed both scores to his junior wideout Maurice Williams. Eagles scored 22 unanswered in the second quarter to take a 22-8 halftime lead. More of the same in the third. Detroit Public Safety threatening again. The handoff is to Christian Smith, and the junior bowls his way into the end zone to make it a 30-8 ball game. This was all Eagles, as they would rack up 44 unanswered points to win. Sophomore Elijah Granger doing the honors this time. And for the first time in their brief three-year history, Detroit Public Safety is going to the playoffs. Final score, 44-8. Kiara back here and we head to Northern Michigan for the Big North Conference meet held in Alpena. We begin with the boys. Individually, Josh Smith from the Wildcats going for his second conference win of the season. And he would go on to win this race by 23 seconds. Cole Trakowski of Traverse City Central would slightly edge out Aiden Smith of Alpena for second place. As the Trojans would go on to win the conference meet, next to the girls. Hannah Smith of Traverse City West was third in her first conference meet in September, and she would separate herself from the pack in this race, winning by 16 seconds. Traverse City Central had four runners placed in the top 10, as the Trojans go on to win the Big North Conference meet for the second time this season. Time now to take a look inside Lawrence Technological University. 
With over 100 degree programs, including graduate and doctoral offered at LTU, their one common theme is the focus on theory and practice, the art of learning through classroom and hands-on training. In a world where everyone and everything is digitally connected like never before, the graduates who will be valued most are those who can think critically and communicate effectively. Lawrence Tech's media communication program has been specifically designed to address these requirements. A degree in media communications prepares students to be cross-trained in journalism, broadcasting, production, and public relations. The opportunities are endless. There's clubs like Blue Devil Broadcasting that's student run, and we do stuff with social media, videos about campus, about the sports teams. If you see yourself studying media communications in the future, consider enrolling at Lawrence Technological University. For more information on the degree programs offered at LTU, head over to the website, ltu.edu, today. This is Alan True from 24-7 Sports with this week's State Champs Recruit Report presented by Michigan Student Aid. Port Huron Northern junior defensive end Braden McGregor is one of the state's top prospects in the 2020 class. He already has offers from a number of the Midwest's top programs, including Michigan, Michigan State, and Notre Dame. And he added another big one this week when Ohio State came through with an offer. Another of the state's top juniors has picked up a new offer as well. Cameron Martinez, the do-it-all quarterback from Muskegon, who transferred from Muskegon Catholic Central this year, picked up an offer from Northwestern. Martinez visited the Wildcats last weekend for their home game in Evanston, a home game which had many Michigan prospects at it, and added the new offer from the Wildcats. And finally, we have a new commitment within the state of Michigan. River Rouge running back Khalif Jenkins has committed to Davenport. The Panthers are off to a 5-0 start and is paying dividends in recruiting. Jenkins is a powerful 5'11", 225-pound back who can run it between the tackles. For this week's State Champs Recruit Report, presented by Michigan Student Aid, I'm Alan Troop. Michigan Student Aid, Michigan's go-to resource for student financial aid. Go to michigan.gov slash mistudentaid for more information. Are you searching for a show that previews and recaps everything that took place in high school football? Then you need to be listening to both of our weekly football podcasts. Get ready for the weekend by checking out the Michigan High School Football Forecast. Lauren Plant, Sean Belisian, Matt Mowry, and Scott Bernstein break down all the games you'll see on State Champs as well as other big matchups from all over the state. Then start each week by getting a reaction to everything that went down under those Friday night lights while Lauren, Matt, Scott, and John Kidd analyze all the ramifications and results. The football forecast premieres every Thursday at 3 p.m. and Extra Point premieres every Monday at 5 p.m. Both podcasts are also webcasts, so you can watch the guys break it all down on our website, statechampsnetwork.com, or check it out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. The main event is next, so don't go anywhere. I love working for Strike. I am genuinely excited to come to work every day. We support each other and look out for each other. I love Striker because we are like a family. At Stryker, I own my career. There are so many different places Stryker can take me in the next five years. Together with our customers, we are driven to make healthcare better. Great people with a strong mission and values can accomplish great things together. I want a career in robotics and automation, so I chose Lawrence Tech for its first in Michigan robotics engineering program. LTU's brand new STEM complex has a robotics lab where we can design, build, and program robots in a creative atmosphere. And the best thing is, I haven't graduated yet, but I already have a job in my field. I know I made the right choice for my career. Lawrence Tech, possible is everything. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's, Dough Razor. Your team or school can sell paper pizza certificates that can be redeemed for one medium pizza at participating locations. Hungry Howie's makes it easy. It's just a little mini pizza box, but we make lots of money, lots of dough. Go to doughraiser.com to learn more and sign up. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Welcome back. Hey, you know, we love hearing from our fans. And while we can't honor every request, if you make a convincing case, 
we take it seriously. Rob from Lutheran Westland reached out for state champs to show some pride and give a couple of small schools some coverage. We did. A few weeks back, Nakia Scott said we have to check out what's happening at Robichaud in Dearborn Heights. Bulldogs are undefeated. Just so happened that their opponent this week, Dearborn Heights Crestwood, also unbeaten for the first time in 38 years. Now that's a great story. And the battle for Dearborn Heights is this week's main event. Sean Belegian back with you, and it was homecoming at Dearborn Heights Crestwood on Friday night. This was for city bragging rights and the Western Wayne Conference title. We picked things up in the first quarter. Crestwood already up 6-0. Junior running back Adam Kassab gets around the edge, and he would go in for one of his two rushing scores. This one from 24 yards out, and the Chargers led by 12 after the opening quarter. They would add more to the lead in the early second. Sophomore quarterback Ali Cotham hits the senior tight end Gus Murray for the 13-yard score. Crestwood in control, up 18. Robichaud would come right back on its next drive. Freshman quarterback David Williams hits Cameron Underwood on the quick pass and watch the senior. He does the rest, 67 yards to the house, and that trims the deficit to 18-6. Bulldogs still barking right before half. It's Williams hooking up with the senior, Taiwan Williams, for the 13-yard score. Robichaud now trailed 18-14, but it would be all Crestwood the rest of the way. The senior, Jaquan Smith, refusing to go down. He scores from nine yards out. Crestwood goes to 7-0 for the first time since 1979. They win 32-22. Chargers not only get bragging rights, they also claim the Western Wayne Conference title. Time now for the Great Clips Clip of the Week, and we go back to the Marine City St. Clair game from earlier in the show, and it's the senior, Jack Kretschmer, taking the kickoff 95 yards to the house. Clip of the Week is presented by Great Clips. It's going to be great. All right, hard to believe, but another show is in the book. Unfortunately, but we like to close each week with an additional taste of that one-of-a-kind high school sports experience. <laughs> State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Michigan Student Aid, Michigan's go-to resource for student financial aid. Planning for your future, because your future begins now. Hungry Howie's Dough Raiser, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. And Sneth Camp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Come visit Telegraph Road's newest Dodge and Ram truck dealer serving Detroit.